most likely to survive on a desert, deserted island. I didn't know if I could read that no, then. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kira Walsh, and this is Most Likely To with Sports Direct. Most likely to turn up in a questionable outfit. I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, but probably Ellen White or Georgia Stanway. I think when Stanway was younger, she had a lot of suspect outfits. I think she would agree with me to be fair, so either one of those two for questionable outfits. Most likely to become a stand-up comedian. <laughs> Yeah, either Jill Scott or Nikita Pirates, I think they've both got a very good sense of humour. I think Jill, yeah, she's always um, the class clown, especially at camp, she's always making people laugh, so. Most likely to survive on a desert, deserted island. I didn't know if I could read that no, then. <laughs> no, I think island. it's me. I'll read that again, shall I? <laughs> Most likely to survive on a deserted island. Probably Lucy, I think she's pretty practical, pretty logical. I think most of the team would be probably too dramatic to survive. I think, you know, we'd be getting a bit too stressed. So yeah, I think Lucy would be pretty pragmatic about it. Most likely to fall asleep on the coach or plane, Nikita Paris. That's the only option, I think. Every time we're on an away trip or you turn around on the coach and she's fast asleep, mouth's normally wide open. And honestly, I think she could sleep standing up. Like the girl closes her eyes and she's asleep within 10 seconds. So I think it's quite a talent to be fair because most other people can't sleep. Most likely to still be playing at 40. I feel like I'd say Mary, Mary Earps. I think she's a, a really good professional and I think, no disrespect to goalkeepers, but I think you can play a little bit longer than outfield positions. And yeah, I think she does everything right, so she'd be in good shape to carry on playing. Most likely to become a TV presenter, probably Jill or Leah. I think obviously Jill being in the jungle and stuff, she was very good at that. Yeah, I think Leah's very good in front of camera and yeah, she's good at answering questions and always gives smart answers. So yeah, I'd probably say Leah. A lot smarter than me anyway. Most likely to go home first on a night out. Who went home first? first after we won the Euros. Well, it wasn't me. It was Jess Carter, but I think that was because she parted very hard the night before. I'd probably say Fran. I think Fran Kirby would go home pretty early after a night out. Um, I think she likes her home comforts, likes to be at home with the dog on the sofa. So yeah, I'd say Fran. Most likely to stay up all night gaming, Fran. We had a, a coffee shop at the Euros and the two people working there actually made a joke that they hadn't seen Fran the whole tournament because I think she was just in a room playing on a game. So yeah, definitely Fran. Most likely to become a singer, Rachel Daly, I think. She gave us a performance of River Deep Mountain High by Celine Dion. After every game, she'd be like dragging the speaker around the changing room singing and she can hit some high notes, so I would give it to Rachel. Most likely to win the Royal Rumble wrestling fight. Georgia Stanway, not even a question. For the size of her, very strong and very aggressive. Don't like playing against her in training sometimes because you know she's gonna come straight through the back here, so yeah. Most likely to become a gaffer, Alex Greenwood. Obsessed with football. All she does is talk about football. Every time I go around to her, she's always on the TV. She's always watching her clips back on Huddle and yeah, she just loves the tactics of it, so yeah, uh, Alex Greenwood. Thanks for watching. Sorry girls for stitching some of you up on this video. Um, yeah, see you next time.